Well, hello everyone and welcome to Between Plays. Okay, so I have two other videos that are coming up that I'm editing at the moment. Uh, they're just a little too long, but um, they're pretty good videos. Uh, this one here, I'm putting up real quick and it's on CloudMD. Uh, the information that I'm putting up here is uh, not directly a uh, link to something that CloudMD has done, uh, although there's a video coming out on that as well. Um, one on Neo, one on NLC, uh, a few of the others, uh, just to touch some base on that, and also vaccines and um, some of the other things affecting the markets, okay? Uh, if you go to www.betweenplays.com, you're going to get some articles that were put up on there. Um, you don't have to do the W, uh, the prefixes, just betweenplays.com betweenplays.com and uh, there's articles that are up on there and a lot more articles to come. Uh, so look, um, I wanna show you guys something. I think it's extremely important that we pay attention to this because we, you know, naturally we're in this for um, what's supposed to be the long run, but every time we hear about a vaccine, we have days like today where it's jumping between 251 and 261. Uh, like last Monday, you know, we had a, a, a big drop and then of course we saw the support and shoot right back up. Um, and you know, it's normal. Listen, uh, retail investors, we get a little worried and then we start to uh, question things and, um, listen, patience is key here and, um, I'll show you why. So Dr. Hamza has always said that he didn't get into this cause of COVID. This has nothing to do with it. We all know that he had started health view in around 2003 2012 or somewhat around th those days it was uh, premier health uh premier health went on to uh, the canadian stock exchange dot cdn and uh, they acquired a cloud-based um uh, a cloud-based integration system and uh, when they jumped up to the tsx venture um they switched the name from premier health to cloud md so CloudMD is everything Premier Health was. They just changed the name. So if you look at what Premier Health has acquired in the past, that has um, that's all still things that CloudMD um, is about and owns. There's a you know other Premier Health. There was LOI made with China. Uh, with CloudMD, you had uh, the AntWorks uh, benchmark, and that's with New Delhi. Excuse me for this. And um, you have uh, everything under Premier Health with the medical cannabis sector. So you, you gotta look at all that stuff and put into context that this has been going on for a long time. So before they were on the CDN, on the Canadian Stock Exchange, then up to TSX Venture, and eventually TSX, which will have the, uh, the .to that'll follow right after, and, you know, Na and uh, NASDAQs, and it will come with time. And like Dr. Hamza said, um, this is the future. Now, he's not the only one saying it. Just go Google, you know, compounded, compounded annual growth rate of the telemedicine and the telehealth industry. And it's, it's huge. The market is huge. And if you go and look up stuff like even what Motley Fool, depends on who you want to, it doesn't matter who you, you listen to, but you can listen to anyone in any different sector. And I mean, even ARK Investments is investing into the telemedicine, all right? So something I really wanna show you that I find is very, really important. So let's get down to that. We have a Digital Health Conference Congress 2020 virtual conference online November 26, 27 of 2020. Now, this is big. Look at the people here. What is this about? Well, if you look at the agenda, Digital Health Congress, World Congress, should say everything. Privacy and ethics, we have determinants of health, uh, telehealth. See the social determinants of telehealth? Future telemedicine. Guys, it keep, I can keep on going on. AI for the elderly care, evolution validation, navigating a new normal through digital identity healthcare services. End of day one. Let's look at day two. All right, keynote, future of primary care. Keynote two, COVID-19 has increased the pressures and rate of change in healthcare for reskilling and upskilling. So it's just saying that like, as if when we went, well, we see it, you understand? Now we were drawn to it. 
Like, because I didn't even know telemedicine before in, uh, invest uh, COVID-19. Uh, before COVID-19, I didn't even think about this industry. All right. And then when I got thrown to this industry, I was like, man, what? Tell, who, teledoc? Who, is, who are these guys? And I went and checked them out and they're like $200 a share. And I was like, whoa, what were they before uh, the pandemic? So 2019, they were averaging about $70. So that's huge because just that alone was saying, look, we're the future. I mean, they've been on a on the stock exchange since 2015 or something like that. So they've been there a while. Uh, and there wasn't much, I guess, to, to invest in uh, as competitors. So they, they shot up. But now, I mean, we have competitors and they're all entering the industry. And this is just going to get bigger because this is about the future. Look at this. Applying AI for early detection of dementia. That's insane. Digital health market, emerging new verticals and opportunities, online networking, healthcare, mobile apps, and wearable technology, which is what uh, Dr. Ham is talking about, and uh, watches and all this kind of stuff. And um, anyways, and especially if you look at Apple's new watches, it's really, really built around uh, uh, telemedicine, telehealth. It's quite incredible. So and that's just coming out. This is like emerging stuff. We've had some little bit of technology in there, but now it's really growing. It's expanding. So watch in five to 10 years. Now, CloudMD has an infrastructure. Uh, they've partnered up with uh, IBM uh, under Premier uh, Health uh, a while ago with IBM to build an infrastructure. CloudMD has the doctors, has the full uh, patient uh, clinics. Uh, is with Infoway, Benchmark, Antworks. They're going to go throughout the world. And under uh, Premier Health, have patients, we had like the, the whole app. medical uh, uh, they cannabis have pretty sector much there, which is the solution. They got the AI bots. They're, they have the technology that they can use to, to do a, a full patient um, visit or full patient health care. Look, Naturally, it's like if you can't use a technology because it's not in your area and stuff like that, it's hard to judge it. And the reason why is because you, you're not physically touching it. You're not physically holding it. Also, it's not shiny like a Tesla or Neo. It's more of a, a functional thing. Um, so you, you really need to believe in it and say, well, this is where I want it to go. Or if you have done the research and go, oh my God, it's definitely a the future. There's no way CloudMD is going to stay at this price. First of all, they're already undervalued. They should be like their, their, their max is what? 388. You know what? Let's just take a, qu a quick look at that. Sorry, my reminders. Um, if we just go to Yahoo, simple, simple research. They're between buy and strong buy. They're currently 256 and they're low. Is 325, their average is 345, and their high it should be around 380. So, um, and this is by four analyst price targets. Okay, so Moderna could come out with um, a vaccine that's over 94% efficient. Um, Pfizer can come out with one a week ago that's over 90% efficient. It doesn't change where the future telemedicine is going. With all that being said, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Down there we have two videos coming out. One on uh, NEO, uh, I guess markets in general uh, when it comes to NEO and the EV sector, uh, green energy. Uh, I'm working on editing these two videos right now as we speak. So hit the subscribe button so you get the notification when it comes out. And that all being said is, um, listen, I'm completely bullish on CloudMD. Uh, I make these videos. I know there's a lot of them on CloudMD. I could almost be like a CloudMD, uh, like a crazy fanatic of it or something like that. But uh, I do these videos on a lot of them on CloudMD. It's just because uh, I really believe in the future of telemedicine. I think it's really important. Um, and they always come out with something new. And then like, as I was like, you know, just Googling, a whole bunch of uh, stuff in the telehealth industry. I ran on this World Congress and it's almost like hidden out of view, right? Because if I wouldn't have been like Googling and going crazy trying to find stuff on telehealth, I wouldn't have seen it. 
and I wouldn't have been able to share it with anyone here. And we, who, I don't know how many people would have known about it, but I wouldn't have known about it. And you know, it just, it's just like you know, COVID um, brought me to the sector of tele, uh, telemedicine, uh, telehealth. Um, so if it wasn't for COVID, I wouldn't have been paying attention to telemedicine and telehealth. And um, look at Teladoc pre-COVID, 200, uh, sorry, uh, $70 a share uh, in 2019. That says a lot. Um, and, you know, CloudMD is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So, you know, you got to give them time to grow and they're, they're speeding up the process. And uh, look, with all that being said, have yourselves a great evening. I'm out.